It goes without saying that we need to follow the rules in the Highway Code to pass the driving test. But what else can we do to really impress the examiner? In this video, we have a few simple tips for you that you can use on your test and also after passing when driving on your own. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to our channel and if you find this video interesting, please click the like button as it really helps other people find us. It's important to make a good first impression, so when meeting your examiner at the start of the test, be polite and friendly. You don't need to dress up, but ensure your clothes are clean and you smell nice. Have your provisional driving licence ready to show them and a pen so you can sign the declaration form promptly. Learning the answers thoroughly to the show me tell me questions before your test is important as it shows you are well prepared and have the car knowledge you will need to drive on your own. Also giving a confident and correct answer is a great way to start the driving test and build your confidence a little. If you can give the examiner a smooth ride, they will feel safe and comfortable, which will definitely help your chances of passing. Use a light touch on the car controls and try to imagine you are driving a limousine. Plan ahead as far as you can so you have the space to accelerate smoothly, steer gently and brake progressively. Almost every person taking a driving test makes a few faults here and there, so try not to worry if you make a mistake. Don't keep thinking about what just happened, as it will distract you and lead to more mistakes. Instead, keep calm, focus on your driving and stay positive. Hopefully, any faults you are given will be minor and you will still pass. It is important to drive confidently when you see a clear road. If the road is straight and there are no hazards present, try to stay within 10 miles per hour of the speed limit, as this will help the traffic flow. However, don't be afraid to slow right down when necessary, for example, before a sharp bend. Try to show the examiner that you can strike a balance between confidence on clear roads and caution when needed. Whatever manoeuvre you are asked to complete on your driving test, take your time. The most important things to demonstrate are safety and precision, but there is no rush. Drive very slowly and look around continually, especially if you need to tidy up your position at the end. Even if you are currently in a quiet place, the examiner needs to know you would also be safe in a busy car park, so manoeuvre very carefully. Every town has a few unusual junctions that can cause problems, so be sure to practice these on your lessons. Ensure you understand how each junction works and are confident that you can safely navigate to your destination on your own, even in heavy traffic. However, don't bother trying to learn complete test routes, as every test centre has so many that you could never remember them all. All you need to do is show the examiner that you are a safe driver. You don't need to be perfect, 
but you can't cause any danger. There really isn't any magic secret to passing. Just follow the rules in the highway code and use good judgment at junctions and when meeting other traffic. If you have your test soon, then prepare as well as you can beforehand and use these tips to impress your examiner. Good luck. If you found this video interesting, then please visit our channel as there are over 150 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.